the origins of the Jewish Defence League in England, English Defence League, and English and Jewish Defence League, Jewish Defence League in England. The Jewish Defence League JDL originated in the United States in 1968, founded by Rabbi Meir Kahane. Its primary goal was to protect Jewish communities from anti-Semitic violence and to promote Jewish pride. The movement gained a reputation for its militant and confrontational tactics. The JDLS presence in England began to take shape as the movement's influence spread internationally. By the late 20th and early 21st centuries, various local groups in England started to identify with the JDLS mission. These groups were motivated by a perceived increase in anti-Semitic incidents and the desire to take a more proactive stance in defending Jewish communities. The JDL in England, like its American counterpart, often adopted a hardline approach, leading to controversy and criticism. English Defence League The English Defence League EDL was founded in 2009 in Luton, Bedfordshire, by radical Christian Zionist and police informant Tommy Robinson, all named Stephen Yaxley Lennon, Kevin Carroll, and a few other associates. Robinson has cited various motivations for his activism, including concerns about the influence of Sharia law and the integration of Muslim communities in the UK. In 2013, Robinson became a police informant. He went on to give evidence to the police to help in their investigation of his former colleagues in the EDL. Robinson's criminal convictions include assault, public order offence, false identity, mortgage fraud, stalking and antisocial behaviour. Robinson has served multiple prison sentences, including 15 months in 2005, 12 months in 2013, 18 months in 2014, 10 months in 2018, and 9 months in 2019, as well as multiple suspended sentences and a community rehabilitation order. He was a member of the British National Party, BNP, a British fascist political party, from 2004 to 2005. For a short time in 2012, he was joint vice-chairman of the far-right British Freedom Party, BFP. In 2015, he became involved with the development of Pegida UK, a now defunct British chapter of the German far-right Pegida. In 2015, Lutz Bogmann, the founder of Pegida, resigned from the movement after posing as Adolf Hitler and making racist statements on Facebook. He was later reinstated. The EDL allegedly emerged in response to a protest by a group of Islamist extremists against a homecoming parade for British soldiers returning from Afghanistan. Robinson stated that he was prompted to found the EDL after reading a newspaper article about local Islamists attempting to recruit men to fight for the Taliban in Afghanistan outside a bakery in Luton. It is claimed that this event catalyzed the formation of the EDL, which positioned itself as a street protest movement opposing what it perceived as the spread of radical Islam and the erosion of pre-multicultural traditional English Christian culture. The EDLS early activities were characterized by demonstrations and rallies, often leading to clashes with counter-protesters and police. The group attracted a diverse following, including football hooligans, right-wing activists, and individuals concerned about national identity and security. Despite its claims of opposing only Islamist extremism, the EDL faced accusations of promoting Islamophobia and fostering a climate of intolerance. Robinson himself has expressed support for Israel and has sought to build alliances with Jewish groups as part of his broader agenda. Robinson and the EDL have occasionally reached out to Jewish individuals and communities, positioning themselves as defenders of Jewish people against anti-Semitism which they often attribute to Islamist extremism. This outreach included public displays of solidarity with Israel and participation in pro-Israel events. These efforts to align with Jewish communities were part of a broader strategy to gain legitimacy and support from various ethnic and religious groups who might share concerns about Islamist extremism. 
The EDLS overtures to Jewish communities were also aimed at countering accusations of racism and bigotry by showcasing a willingness to stand with Jewish people against common perceived threats. These links were largely ideological and tactical, aimed at garnering broader support and countering criticism of the EDLS activities and associations. Robinson has received over £2 million in donations and sponsorship, much of it from foreign sources with ties to the government of Israel. In 2017, Zionist American billionaire Robert J. Shulman funded Robinson's fellowship at the Canadian website Rebel News, with Robinson receiving over £5,000 per month. In 2018, the American Israeli Middle East Forum think tank said it had been funding rallies in Robinson's support and paying legal costs in his appeal against his prison sentence. Robinson has also received support from some far-right pro-Israel organizations, while also being denounced by mainstream ones like the Anti-Defamation League, the English and Jewish Defense League, the English and Jewish Defense League EJDL is a more recent and less prominent entity, representing a blend of the ideologies of the EDL and the JDL. It emerged from a collaboration between individuals in both the Jewish and non-Jewish communities who shared concerns about Islamic extremism and anti-Semitism in England. The EJDL aimed to unite members of the Jewish community with those of the EDL to create a more inclusive defence front. However, this alliance was contentious given the EDLS controversial reputation and the JDLS history of militant activism. The EJDLS formation highlighted the complexities and challenges of addressing issues of extremism and community protection in a multicultural society. Conclusion The Jewish Defence League in England, English Defence League, and English and Jewish Defence League each originated from distinct socio-political contexts, driven by concerns about security, cultural identity, and extremism. While their methods and ideologies differ, they share a common theme of responding to perceived threats against their communities. Their activities have sparked significant debate and controversy, reflecting broader tensions within English society regarding multiculturalism, extremism and national identity i'm a zionist i know you're wearing a, a shirt or a, a button that says i'm a zionist what does a zionist mean to you uh what is a zionist well a zionist someone believes in a homeland for jewish people i believe uh my definition when i've looked at that in the dictionary is, is israel first it means israel first yes okay well <laughs> I, be I believe in israel's right to right to exist i believe in their right to defend themselves I believe that the Jews have been persecuted and when I talk, when I look at the Israeli thing, I look at it from my own point of view growing up in Luton Town. The main extremist is, you know the Stockholm bomber that was, we spoke about earlier? He was radicalised in the Luton Islamic Centre. The Luton Islamic, Islamic Centre used to be the Jewish synagogue until they smashed it up, attacked it and drove them out of there. About six years ago I was walking through Luton and I see some Orthodox rabbis. They had all these police around them walking. Like, What's going on there? They're getting a police escort to walk through the streets of Luton. Now this is year 2012 now in Britain, and no one could wear a skull cap from one an Islamic area to the other. They wouldn't look out, get out of that area. So I see today that the Jewish people are persecuted, and I believe no one speaks up for them. If there was a war, and it kicked off, I would be there on the front line fighting for Israel. What did you learn about the Jewish connection to, to Israel? Well, it's, it's the same again. It's like you hear all the time. That, that we hear all the time back home that... Um, Jews that Jews are invading this land and then as we're walking around as we're going to all the tourist destinations as we're going to the historical sites you find that there's staunch history and connections going back 2,000 years non-stop from historic finds to just everything that always puts Jewish people as did as their land and always says in their in their scripture that this is the promised land and they will be and they've been exiled from this land so many times and they will come back to the land. It's their homeland. And I don't take what I always took when I talk about I've always said I'm pro-Israel. And the reason I've said that was I don't say that I don't even know really the true histories of the land. I said that because I believe that the Jewish people deserve a homeland.